I read an article earlier this week that said that there are segments of the American population that were tired of the Trayvon Martin story and felt that it was getting too much coverage. And this is to be expected. I mean, everyone gets tired of a media story, whether it's the latest ish situation on Dancing with the Stars, and we don't talk about the Occupy movement a as much as we did in anymore. But many of us can't be tired of the Trayvon Martin story because we are Trayvon Martin. We have to deal with this particular situation every day, possibly getting killed just for doing nothing, having hostilities escalate just because we're being black and walking in a particular community or, or driving a particular car in a neighborhood, as was the case with Tyler Perry, who posted this on Facebook a couple of weeks ago. And we just can't get tired of it. So what I hope people do is that I hope that they continually learn more about what's happening with the Trayvon Martin case, but we also have to look at our humanity. Why can't we just be frustrated when we see another group suffering that doesn't have to do with us? If you, if you look at the Zimmerman situation, if Zimmerman was a illegal immigrant and Trayvon Martin was a, a white girl, I could guarantee you that this would be a, a Republican rallying cry right now during the campaign. Zimmerman would become the new Willie Horton. And there probably wouldn't be as many black people involved in, in calling for justice as there have been, and which which is a problem for both sides. And it shows that, you know, we only, we feel like we can only care for so many issues. But when, when the Columbine tragedy happened, when Virginia Tech happened, I didn't find myself wondering, well, what's the race of the shooter? How many black people got killed? And that's going to determine whether I care about it or not. I believe that as human beings, we should have compassion for what's happening to other human beings. We should look at our collective humanity and see what, what we can do to really bring ourselves together. And the Trayvon Martin case is an example of how we can do that. Unfortunately, it's become so politicized on so many sides that it, it's going to be very difficult to really move towards healing. But at least the parents have been calling for healing and, and you know, and, and as well as justice for a very long time. The Trayvon Martin case is not going to go away. There are going to be new Trayvon Martin cases in the future. But my hope is that we can start to really start getting past our, our partisan beliefs, our deeply held beliefs, whether they're racial, religious, or, or based on, on gender or, or, or anything like that, and really start getting down to our basic humanity because real families are suffering, real communities are suffering, and all of us should feel like we should be empowered to make a change for the sake of the future of this country.